Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be going through part 2 of the 3 part mini series where I show you how to build a beautiful model airport. Today we'll be going through the lines and markings required to achieve such nice results. I'll be going through some of the techniques and some of the other materials I used to build this. Without any further ado, let's just get straight into it. So the first few things you're going to need are, the first thing you're going to need is a large stack of cardstock. This will come in handy when making templates for your gates um, and keeping every line consistent and every shape consistent. Um, you're going to need a raised edge ruler. I use this metal one from Staples. It has a raised edge and it means that your paint pen cannot bleed um, as it's going across your board. You're also going to need some sandpaper just for fixing up some things. Um, you're going to need a pencil, a pair of scissors, and a whole load of Posca paint pens. Um, so the ones that I have, um, are, I'll put the names on the screen, but the first one is the PC3MR. This has a nib that looks like this. It's a smaller one. Um, and then you have the fatter one. I think this is a PC 5MR. I'm not too sure um, There's a fat nib and then majority of the pens that I have are The really thin Fine liner don't know if you can see but the really thin fine liner PC 1 MRs um, And they just really help with keeping lines all thin um, if you were here for my last airport, you would see that the lines were really thick on the gates. It didn't look realistic, um, but that's basically as thin as you can go on the paint pen side of things. So, yeah. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to look at a Google Earth image of your airport and see what style gates you have. Then you're going to take your model, your largest model that's going to fit in the gate and you're going to trace it on a piece of cardstock and kind of just experiment a bit to see what you want your gate to look like. Once you're finished with this, you can start cutting out and kind of just piecing together your diorama on your board. So now that you've kind of made your gate areas um, and marked them off, as you can see I've done here with the pencil, you can kind of just just roughly sketch out, um, start to kind of develop your uh, diorama just by adding the first color. For me it's going to be white um, and there's going to be some rows going in between the taxi or the gates. For example, I don't know if you can see, right there there's going to be a little slice in the two gates. Um, and that's where there's going to be a road going through towards the terminal, which is an area for GSC to access the noses of the gates. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start drawing some white lines on the airport now. Um, so yeah. So now we move on to the first color of paint pen. Um, there's a couple of things you need to take in mind. Um, when doing this step um, also for me my uh, JFK terminal 1 layout um, kind of has the gates all conjoined together um, and they're not all symmetrical some side of the gate you can see in the bottom right corner there's like a short side of the gate um, all the gates are like kind of conjoined um, and just some looking into um, some airport layouts as well you can see that not all gates are perfect so if you make small little mistakes like maybe off centering the yellow line um, it's not the end of the world um, yeah so just make sure you have everything in place where you want it make sure um, all your planes fit without touching and the way you like it um, and then you can kind of just start taking it easy um, following your marks um, and then until you get your desired result So 
So now after many hours of um, just copying lines from the real thing um, and just outlining the white gates with red, you can see we've kind of skipped ahead a bit um, to where we are now. Um, now we're going to be drawing the center lines on the airport. I don't know if you saw earlier, but um, when I was drawing the gate markings um, with the pencil around the template, I was making a center line mark. I highly recommend doing this so it's really easy to just go back after and just draw the center line to where you want it to be. Um, now also a tip to take in mind when doing these yellow center lines and taxiway lines is to avoid doing as many curves as possible. Now Terminal 1 unfortunately has a lot of curves um, which makes my life really difficult. I decided to just keep everything in straight lines just so that it would be easier to outline and it would leave me with a better looking result. I highly recommend taking these kind of decisions um, because it will make your airport look way better in the end. And probably the most important tip I could give anyone building their first model airport is to just do everything with a ruler, everything with exact measurements, just so that you don't get any mismatching lines um, and you're just ha as happy as possible with your results. Also, when it comes to drawing the center line, I highly recommend going over the yellow line two or three times just so you can get the color down perfectly. Now, you can have various different designs for gates on your airport. Um, Terminal 2 is a lot more uniform design with gates being roughly around the same size. Um, so I was able to use the template to just keep every gate looking the same. This is probably the uh, most common design that people will use for their model airport as um, most airports have a more like Terminal 2 design at JFK. It is again useful to look at Google Earth to see which placement and which orientation your gates have to get the most realistic results. The same can be said for all the little outside GSC markings outside of the gates um, so you can get the best result and the most realistic looking airport. So now we move on to outlining all the yellow lines on the airport. Now this is a decision I've made to go through with um, and it's definitely not a decision that you have to force as well. I think it adds a really nice touch to my model airport as a lot of airports in real life have the black outlining on the yellow lines. Now this is again something that takes a lot of time and a lot of concentration so be sure to do it with a ruler and definitely take your time. Now the one drawback from this is doing freehand makes everything really really difficult and by by that I mean just drawing the line on its own which basically means you will not be able to do very good looking curves on the airport and as I said before I'm not going to be adding curves on the taxiway lines close to the gates purely because I don't want to mess up the outlining Now moving on to the taxiway, um, drawing the taxiway lines is very similar using very similar techniques to what we used in the earlier part of the episode. Um, it's again just important to be careful um, and making the corner curves of the taxiway, I highly recommend making more templates. Um, just a quick note, the taxiway width is going to vary from airport to airport. For me mine was 9.5 centimeters. And I highly recommend drawing out all the border lines first before you draw out the spikes. And also do the center line while you're at it. Now moving on to the black outlining again, just try to do everything with a ruler as shown before. Um, but when it comes to the curved corners of the taxiway, um, you can do freehand, which is what I did. Um, just try to take your time and do as slow as possible to get the best results. In the end, it's not going to be looking as good as you would have with the ruler, um, but it's the best you can do. Um, but yeah, just again, take your time and try and keep a steady width throughout the line. Now, after seeing this video, hopefully you have some ideas for your own model airport. Maybe you can implement some of the techniques given in this video to give your airport some really realistic results. Now, hopefully you found this video somewhat helpful. Um, and if you did, please consider subscribing and liking um, just so we can continue producing more content like this. Also, stay tuned because this is only part two of three. 
um, and then in the next episode we will be weathering the airport and adding some final details to make it look 100% realistic. That's it from me, it's been Aviation JFK, signing off.